Hello and welcome back to Matthew's Tottenham blog and to another episode of Tottenham Hotspur Transfer Talk. Again, today in our pursuit of a striker, we have some breaking news once again coming from Gianluca Di Marzio out of Italy and it is to do with our striker target, Andrea Bellotti. So before I get into the, the news that we've heard there, uh, if you're new to the channel and you do want more transfer videos like this, plus interactive live streams, match previews, reviews and general Tottenham analysis videos, please go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you get notified every time uh, I upload. So to dive straight into this news, it is coming again from uh, Gianluca Di Marzio. And after Tottenham's bid for Andrea Bellotti was rejected last Friday, Tottenham have now uh, put in a new and improved offer for the striker. The bid we put in last week was uh, a loan bid with an, uh, an option to buy after a year, uh, depending on how Bellotti had done at the club. However, this new offer uh, includes, rather than an option, an obligation to buy if certain criteria are met. Now, the reason the first bid was turned down is because Torino did want uh, a permanent deal if they were to let Bellotti go this summer, I would assume, so they could pursue their own targets to replace him. Um, so this bid from Tottenham, this new bid from Tottenham, doesn't quite meet those uh, requirements from Torino's point of view, but it, I assume, will be more enticing to the club as it is more likely that Bellotti would make this move permanent next summer. Now, as for the criteria that could be in this uh, obligation to buy, we haven't seen much about that yet, um, and it's it's very similar for the fee. Now, the, the bid we did make last week was uh, an option to buy for 50 million euro which I would have to assume is very similar to the fee that Tottenham will be putting forward in this obligation to buy, again, under uh, certain conditions if they are met uh, throughout the season. Uh, the, the usual sort of criteria for deals like this would be a certain number of appearances, um, a certain number of goals for Bellotti, or as was the case with Giovanni Lo Celso's move last, uh, last year, the obligation to buy was there if Tottenham made it into the Champions League. And of course, we know we didn't do that, but we did trigger that uh, clause earlier on in the deal. In January, we made that uh, permanent. So it's, it's hard to say exactly what we will be looking for uh, for this deal to be made permanent, but it is there. The bid has been made uh, alone with an obligation to buy under certain conditions next summer. We haven't heard anything on Torino's view on this. And again, we know they want a more permanent deal, uh, but this could be more enticing to them. Take another quick look at Andrea Bellotti, the player himself. He's a 26-year-old striker for Torino. As we say, Tottenham have made an improved offer of a loan with obligation to buy after initial bid was rejected. Uh, Bellotti last season not his best season in his career he scored 16 goals in 36 league appearances uh, for Torino but his record there uh, since he joined Torino was 79 and 175 so much more impressive there he's a clinical striker he's a powerful player he's a big aerial threat he's a strong finisher and he's very useful in the high press he's a determined enthusiastic player uh, someone who definitely fits in uh, fits the bill for a Jose Mourinho striker I compare him a lot to Diego Costa in terms of his style of play you know he's a nuisance he likes to get at defenders he likes to cause problems um, and quality wise I probably wouldn't put him up there with uh, Diego Costa while he was at Chelsea but he certainly has the potential Bellotti getting into the prime for his career I think in terms of second strikers to Harry Kane Bellotti is probably up at that top level of players that we could attract uh, I don't know I haven't seen much in the press about uh, the, the player's personal thoughts on this if Tottenham is a, a team he does want to join uh, but the bid um, improved bid has been made and we have to wait now and see what Torino say about this one uh, in terms of the other strikers that we are after, Arcadius Milik, uh, we know it's very difficult for us to, to pursue a deal there, despite Napoli reducing their asking price to €35 million. Uh, In the last couple of days, they have agreed a deal with Roma, uh, which is actually €25 million, euro. so uh, another reduction on that asking price. Uh, it looks fairly certain that Milik will be going to Roma and Edin Dzeko would then be moving on to Juventus. However, it does seem now as though Arcadius Milik has actually turned down Roma and he will be, for now, staying at Napoli, but there is, of course, potential for a lot uh, a lot of change in that throughout the summer. It'll be interesting to see whether Tottenham revisit this deal, um, if the reduced asking price of €25 million, euro, if that is something the club can afford, uh, will we go back in for him? Of course, his contract is moving into his last year now, so he will be available for a free transfer next summer, but negotiations able to start in January. Uh, Tridini, another name being thrown about there, I, I can't see too much happening with that one. Personally, I don't think it's a deal that will be done. And I know a lot of fans don't want it to, a deal, to be a deal that uh, will be completed this summer. But I think that will be more of a last resort for us as we know that transfer window that closes, I think it's around the 7th of October. There's an extension on that until the 15th of October where Premier League clubs can deal with EFL clubs. So I think if anything is going to happen in that Dini deal, it will be a case of that, that final week of the window there if all other um, potential targets, uh, if we can't get them in by the end of the main window, I think then we'll revisit that one for Troy Deeney. And I mean, he will be he will be better than no one because he does have that Premier League experience. Um, Pat Sendaka, we know, has decided to stay with uh, Orby Salzburg this year. Uh, Tottenham were favourites to sign him, but he wants to stay in Austria. So that deal is done. 
and it all seems to have gone quiet on the Habib Diallo front as well. So at the moment, it does look like Bellotti is the number one target uh, for the club. And personally, I think it would be a great deal to get done, even if it is just a loan deal with uh, an option. Or as we look at now, an obligation to buy. I think that's a, a potential great deal for Tottenham. And hopefully that is one that uh, we can get over the line. Uh, don't forget to leave down in the comments below uh, your opinion on this deal, your opinions on Andrea Bellotti, and if you think he'd be a good signing for Tottenham. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, as I said, for more transfer videos, interactive live streams, match previews, reviews and general analysis videos, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.